that's the date. That's when we're back here at the Hit Sports Complex for our next big event, Premier MMA Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next fighter, Jared the Dragon Morris. Jared Morris, 22 years old. He is a brown belt under Carlson Gracie. Also wrestled a little bit in high school, so I don't think it's any secret where he would look to take this fight. He fights out of Lawrenceburg under Timothy Hurt and has trained about eight years. Says that watching his teammate TJ Barber fighting made it a must experience for him. Well, he told us that he has never seen his opponent fight. He's just gonna rely on his own skills also as a day job, works in a body shop. And this is another one of those interesting fights where you have two guys that are specialized on the ground. So we're going to see if they're going to want to stand up and bang, or we're going to see who's the better grappler. But it's saying a lot having a brown belt from Carlson Gracie. Yeah, you're not going to see a lot of that around this area. Uh, there's a lot of you know, Son of Siam, known for their Muay Thai. You have uh, a Killer Bee school in Georgetown. You have some catch wrestling out of Maysville, Kentucky. But uh, you, Carlson Dr Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, you don't see a lot of those fighters. I mean, you see uh, here and there emerging on this scene. Christopher Cook. Christopher Cook, 18 years old, unbeaten. He's a blue belt out of George Gurchell MMA in South Lebanon, Ohio. He's only been training two years. But this is going to be the last time we see him in a while. He's leaving for the Air Force in July. Yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing him work, being that he's only 18. Uh, normally, age does play a, a big factor sometimes when the, the younger fighter comes in and he's really antsy, he just want to go. But uh, again, again, having a blue belt under uh, JG, he teaches those guys how to be really patient. So, well, the irony is, uh, George Gurgel often has the reputation. He's not afraid to, to have his fighters stand and bang. I mean, he did that very often in his own career. Definitely. And yeah. especially, you know, I'm sure that he's, he's not kidding himself. He is, his student is going up against the brown belt. Being a blue belt himself, I'm sure that was discussed in the game plan ahead of this fight. Yeah, it's definitely going against well, most going against the brown belt or anyone higher rank. You definitely have to go and figure out what their weaknesses are and go with a game plan that'll keep you in a safe place and keep you away from their strength. Live on Fight TV. And this is an amateur fight, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first in the red corner, he stands five foot six, weighing 130 pounds. Fighting out of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, he represents LMA, Jared the Dragon Morris. <laughs> in the blue corner, he stands five foot nine, weighing 130 pounds. Fighting out of South Lebanon, Ohio, he represents JT MMA with a record of two wins, no losses, Christopher Cook! Chris Cook, the, the product of UFC veteran George Gurgel, who we had the pleasure of speaking to earlier. This is going to be an interesting fight because obviously they both go, they're both out of jujitsu schools. However, as I mentioned, Virgil, very, very welcoming to uh, striking, even uh, especially among his students. And we're seeing that early out of Chris yeah. Cook. Yeah, Chris Cook just threw that right and just wrong, just, just wrong uh, Morris's bill. Cook has some nice technical striking in the early the, going. Oh, wow. And the mouth he tapped. That's it. That's it. He tapped. He tapped. Wow. I don't know what happened. He just he just tapped. There's no official call right now. He got Chris Cook doesn't even know what's going on yet. He, he 
Fight's over. The fight's over. Chris Cook wins. He moves on to 3 0. Oh. Wow. You can see the spot right on Jared Morris. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to watch this fight all over again. Yeah. Bang, boom, there was that overhand right. And here's what does it. We got, as we slow down the action. It's a nice left. Well, eventually. Go for a leg kick. And oh, there, there was, was the counter. He toes right in the liver. Uh, not pleasant. Filthy finish by Chris Cook. Yes. And it's a delayed effect. It sucks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 28 seconds into round number one. Referee Chris Kinnan stops the fight when he sees the tap out due to strikes. Your winner, remaining undefeated, Christopher Cook!